break, man. And today's topic is going to be she will follow the leader. See, because a lot of guys don't understand that you have to lead in most, if not all, interactions in order for her to trust you as a man. And getting her to actually want to follow you as a man will put you in a way better situation than the alternative. Because if she's chasing you, she ain't leaving you. She ain't dumping you. She most likely ain't cheating on you. And the only way she could actually truly fall in love with you or truly come back to you for the guys trying to get that girl back is if she respects you. And the only way she could respect you is if she follow your lead. But I'm going to tell you how you do that right now, man. It's our first video of the year. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. The most important thing to do is to share the video, bro. And let's get straight to it, man. As a man, you have to have a certain level of togetherness. It's nothing that's going to come in and have you just magically be in this place where you're desired and sought after. You start out with nothing, bro. You start out with nothing as a man. And so it's on you to grow everything that you have. But it is because you grow everything that you have and it's because you build this empire that ultimately she's going to be attracted to you in the first place because you show that you can focus on something. You show that you can commit to something. You show a lot of qualities that leadership level guys have. And y'all ever seen like, or some of you guys who work jobs, y'all ever been in a place where it seemed like all of the girls like the manager? That's called a situational alpha. That dude is in a place of authority. He is in a place of leadership. And so situationally, all the girls there, they going to like him situationally he's the guy he's telling them what to do he's telling them how to do it telling them where to go and because all of that is occurring all of the girls like him and that's what's literally happening in that scenario so it's important to be in that position but in life bro you want to be a, you want to have a leadership role bro in your family dynamic and everything you want to have a leadership role you want to be a guy who when people come to you, you know what the answer is, or you can be dependent on to come up with the answer. And see, the thing is, women can tell when you don't have it. Oh my God, what are we gonna go eat today? I don't know what we're gonna have to eat. And then she look at you, and you looking back at her, oh, what are we gonna go eat? Um, um, I don't know, what do you wanna eat, baby? I don't know, what do you wanna eat? I don't know, what do you wanna eat? That's like one of the weakest things you can do as a man because it just shows you have no direction bro you have no you lack the ability to make a decision and so decisiveness in a man is super attractive and you want to be at that point what you want to know for the guys who get that girl back this is important one key this in bro when she hits you back after no contact when she decide that Whatever out there ain't worth the squeeze and she's coming back to you or whatever occurred to make her hit you back, right? You want to know what she expecting from you? She expecting for you to make a move. And she expecting for you to know exactly what to do and how to do it in order to get back to the space where y'all make it back. And so she putting all of that on you for the simple fact that you the one who messed it up in the first place. You the one who was needy. You the one who didn't know how to make her feel the emotions she needed to feel. You the one who just couldn't get it together, right? Ultimately. Otherwise, because if it was her fault, you would be leaving this woman and not going back to her because you're a valuable man, bro. You built yourself and you know that you could have better options than that. So I'm not even talking to those guys. I'm talking to the guys who tried to get a girl back when they messed up, right? And so... What she expecting you to do is she expecting you to set the groundwork. She expecting you to be the leader that she thought you were in the beginning when she first gave you a chance, when she first came with you, bro. But you proved to not be when you acted needy, when you acted desperate, when you blew her phone up, when you was insecure about the dude that she worked with, et cetera, et cetera. And for the guys, other side note, for the guys who complain about the fact that women have options, get over it, bro. Every woman ever got options. Even go find the ugliest woman you know. Go find the ugliest one that you know. And I bet she got 10 dudes in her inbox right now. Right now. So get over it. The whole point is you're the cream of the crop or you're supposed to be. That's why we work on ourselves over here. The cream rises to the top, big dog. 
That's what the cream does. It rises to the top. So we operate as if we're the cream of the crop. Those guys don't even matter. But back to the point. She's expecting you to make a date. And here's what I mean. I don't mean soon as she called, oh, baby, let's go to a five-star restaurant so I can make it up to you and show you how much I miss you and I want you to be back and I need you. No, bruh, that's not what we talking about. We talking about, oh, well, you left me, you left me high and dry, you didn't believe in me no more. So I'm not taking you out no more. And I don't recommend guys take, take women who trying to come back out. But what I will do is you can come to my house, right? And this is leadership. You're telling her what to do. You can come to my house. You can make dinner, bring a bottle of wine. We can have wine together. We can watch a funny movie or whatever y'all like to do together. And you are going to create the opportunity for sex to happen. That is all you are going to do. You are taking the leadership role, bro. You are going to have fun with her. And you are going to create the opportunity for sex to happen. It's that simple. And you're going to do that every single time until she going, I love you. I want to be back together. Let's talk about the relationship. You are going to do that every single time until she's ready to do that. Because guess what? That is leadership. Leadership is not, let's have a conversation about the relationship so I can talk about all of the things we did. No, bro. Don't nobody want to do that. Because the whole reason she's giving you another chance is because she still believes in your leadership, bro. Because she want to follow you where you're going. But if you don't know where you're going, who can follow you? Who could give you that energy if you don't got that energy, bro? Think about it. So for guys in these positions where they want to be looked at as an alpha woman, when you want to be looked at as the guy with women, you need to become the guy within yourself first, bro. You need to get grounded in who you are and you need to go out there and make or at least begin to start making your dream and your vision for the future happen. And guess what happens? When you start going out there and making your vision happen, the perfect people just slide into place. Perfect women just slide into place. Well, the woman you already with, she just find her place in that dream. It just happens naturally, bro. It's That's how it's meant to be. So as a man, you must understand, you have to turn yourself into a leader, into that guy who goes after his shit in order to have the most success you can have with a woman. And I ain't saying you can't have no success if you don't do this, but we're trying to get the most success over there, bro. We're trying to do the most efficient thing we can do in this game, big dog. But anyway, with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, man. It's your boy, K. Narek, man. I'm about to...